Hi, today we will explain the plot of a movie called Jailbait which was released in 2014. You gotta be safe nowadays, you know? Hey. So, let's get straight to the storyline. Really? There was a girl named Anna who lived with her mother and stepfather. One day, when Anna was playing cello in her room, her stepfather came and immediately made Anna uncomfortable. Her stepfather then hit Anna and tried to rape Anna tried to rebel by kicking her stepfather, but the man fell backwards until his neck was pierced by a sharp object. Her stepfather died and Anna became a murder suspect. Shortly afterward, Anna's trial was held. There, Anna told the truth that she had accidentally done it while trying to escape her stepfather's impending rape. Her mother was also present, but instead of defending her dead stepfather, she said that her husband had never done such a thing. Eventually Anna was sentenced to four to nine years imprisonment in a juvenile detention center. He came into my room and he started touching. Is hereby sentenced to four to nine years. Anna who had officially become a prisoner was finally brought to the prison. She arrived with other juvenile prisoners and was immediately greeted unpleasantly by the female teenagers who had already been detained there. After undergoing several examinations and cleaning up, Anna and the new prisoners were given uniforms and lined up to be greeted by the head of the prison there named Frank. Staff says, how we doing everybody, y'all doing good? After Frank finished talking, Anna was led to her cell, where there was already a prisoner named Jeannie and they became cellmates. Five years, seven months, 22 days. The next day, Anna who started her day as a prisoner was escorted to the yard by the officers. There were already many other prisoners and some of them formed a group, one of the leaders of the group was named Cody and she approached Anna to invite her to join her group. Anna rejected her and said that she just wanted to be alone, so Cody let her go in annoyance. Don't mind them. Fuck out of here. Nice to meet you, Anna. At lunchtime, Anna who was eating alone was again approached by Cody and her group. Cody again invited her to join, but Anna again refused. Finally, Anna who tried to leave was pushed by Cody until her food spilled. Scott, I'm not playing. Not only that, Cody's group bullied Anna again when she was mopping alone, they took Anna to a quiet room and beat her in turn, they also threatened Anna not to tell anyone about their actions. The injured Anna was then taken to the infirmary, where she was cared for by a nurse named Jane. When the officer named Linda questioned her, Anna claimed that she could not see the culprit because it was very dark. While being treated by Jane, Anna asked how to avoid getting involved with those troubled people, and Jane advised Anna to consult Frank. Bad news is you've got one hell of a bone bruise. Thank you. You're welcome. Shortly after, Anna came into Frank's room and said that she wanted to be alone. Frank then started to mention about the scary isolation room. Then he saw Anna's files. He then said that he would protect Anna as long as Anna would serve him. After hearing that, Anna was immediately uncomfortable and left there. She then cried in her room and Jeannie accompanied her. Jeannie said that she had always avoided Cody. She had apparently been in that place for five years, and although she was often bullied, she already knew how to protect herself. I'm sorry. I saw Cody got to you. I served five years in this place. The next day, Anna who was walking around with Jeannie was bullied again by Killa from another group. She claimed to dislike Anna and started bullying her. After experiencing this, Anna finally chose to join Cody's group and began to approach them. Anna then came and asked to talk to Cody, but someone named Joe blocked her and attacked her. Anna retaliated and they got into a fight. Shortly afterward, the guards came to break them up. After the fight, Cody talked to Anna and understood that Anna wanted to join her group. Shortly after, Anna was taken to Cody's room and there was already Cody and her group. Cody said she would accept Anna as her member, but there was a condition. Cody said that Anna had to attack Killa and Cody would record it. Anna did what Cody said. Because Anna had caused a fight and started a riot, Anna was finally locked up in an isolation room. After getting out of the room, Anna was brought to Frank's room and Frank claimed to know everything in the prison, including Anna who had joined Cody. At that time, the perverted Frank started doing indecent things to Anna, and Anna was forced to comply. You're gonna give me the best blow, John. After rejoining the other prisoners, Anna is now recognized as a member of Cody's group, her hand was tattooed as proof of membership, and at that time Anna began to be given drugs by Cody. You can drink the whole thing. I just closed my eyes and think of music. One day, her mother came to visit, Anna then discussed the murder and they began to fight. According to her mother, 
Her stepfather was a good man because he accepted them and always acted like a good father. Anna who was upset then said that her mother was out of her mind. She mentioned that her stepfather had always f***ed her since she was a child and her mother who knew about it never did anything. Anna was then hit by her mother and her mother said that she deserved to be there. You fucking crazy mom! Hey! You deserve to be in here. <laughs> Anna apparently discussed her mother's visit with Cody. At that time, Killa came with a knife and was about to attack her, but Anna then attacked her first and there was a group fight. After the incident was over, Anna was brought to Frank's room and he blamed Anna for attacking first. Anna tried to defend herself that Killa was carrying a knife and was going to stab her, but Frank didn't care and instead took advantage of the opportunity. He gave Anna drugs that made her dazed. There we go. Okay. Turn around. You gotta be safe nowadays, you know? After that, Frank did even worse perverted things than before. Frank's behavior didn't seem to be a one-time thing. Every time Anna had a problem, she would be sent to Frank's room and Frank would brag while tricking Anna to satisfy his lust. Anna who was stressed out finally went back to Cody and asked for drugs, but Cody began to refuse to give them to her and said that Anna had to buy them herself. Anna seems to have become addicted to drugs. While in the courtyard, she saw a prisoner using drugs and approached her, Anna then handed over some money and asked for drugs, then the drug dealer gave her an injection. Thanks to that, Anna was unconscious in her room. Shortly after, Cody came and warned Anna that she was starting to use drugs, but Anna said she could handle it herself, they then argued and Anna spat on Cody, Cody then said that she expelled Anna from her group. Done. You're out. When Anna was taking a bath, Killa and her group came, they grabbed Anna and Killa started beating Anna. Thanks to that, Anna went back into the infirmary and was again treated by Jane. After getting out of there, Anna went back to see the drug dealer and bought more drugs. Sometimes Anna would have horrible hallucinations until she got drunk in the middle of the yard. The addiction got worse and Anna continued to take drugs. Her roommate, Jeannie, who was getting worried, suggested that Anna see a drug counselor who had helped her when she was addicted. Anna, who was drunk, upset Jeannie and left her. After that, Anna went to a relaxing place and came across Killa who immediately got angry seeing her, Anna then attacked Killa and they started fighting. Their fight seemed to ignite the chaos and the other prisoners started fighting too, with some even beating up the officers. Because the situation was so chaotic, an armed special team was deployed to stop the chaos. After the incident, Anna was again locked up in the isolation room. While she was there, Anna was visited by Frank, who offered to let her out as long as she complied. So what up, I see. Pull your pants down. After returning to her cell, Anna vomited and Jeannie warned her about drugs, at that moment Cody came and also warned Anna, but she tried to fight with Jeannie. Anna stopped her and Cody left upset. From then on, Anna decided to emulate Jeannie who tried to protect herself without joining any group. The next day, Anna was desperate for drugs, but Jeannie tried to prevent her. Even so, Anna still went to the drug dealer and asked for another injection. When Anna had not yet been injected, Cody came and prevented her, she seemed to care about Anna and warned her again, Anna then rebelled and chaos ensued. Like By then, Anna was holding a stone and threatening to kill herself. A special team was mobilized and Frank was on the scene. When the officer was about to arrest Anna, the stone accidentally hurt Frank's face. After the incident, Anna was locked up in the isolation room for quite some time. Slowly her emotions began to get unstable and she sliced her own wrists with a broken tray. Shortly after, the guard saw her and Anna was taken to a special place for suicidal prisoners. In that place, Anna saw many girls with mental problems, they were often hysterical and caused chaos, Anna even saw some die. Afterwards, Anna spoke to Jane and she said she wanted to talk to her mother. Shortly afterwards her mother came to visit, now they were no longer fighting and it seemed that her mother had come to her senses, she said that Anna had talent so she would try to get Anna to play cello at the conservatory when she got out. He's dead, he can't hurt us anymore. I'll talk to the judge. After returning to her cell, Anna damaged the tattoo that previously marked Cody's group. Now that she had not joined any group, Anna became a bully target for both Cody's group and Killa's group. At night, Anna who was mopping was visited by officers and taken to meet Frank in a room, there was a cello and Frank asked Anna to practice so that she could perform at the talent show. The next day, Anna began to get threats from Cody's group, 
They again bullied Anna badly, Cody slashed Anna's face and stomped on both her hands. No, you did not. That is the most- The injured Anna went back to Jane's care, and while she was there, Frank came to ask about the culprit, Anna admitted that it was Cody. At that time, Frank's gestures to Anna made Jane a little surprised. When Jane was alone in her room, Anna came in and wanted to talk alone, Jane allowed her and they talked to each other. Jane seemed to have guessed what Frank was up to, Anna confessed that what he did was outrageous, Jane looked incredulous and said that she would help Anna. Not just for you. Unbeknownst to them, Frank seems to have kept a hidden camera in Jane's room, he saw and heard their conversation and started planning something. When Jane was alone in the hallway, two prisoners beat her up. After the incident, Jane and Frank then had a chance to meet and Jane already suspected that it was Frank. When she was about to leave the place, Jane was again visited by another prisoner and died after being stabbed repeatedly in the back. Anna, who saw Jane covered in blood, was shocked. Frank told her that Jane was killed by the crazy Cody, but Anna didn't seem to believe him. Rumor has it that you're next. No. Because I think you know who killed Jane. Soon after, the talent show was held and Anna managed to perform her cello well. After the show is over, Frank comes back to her and tries to seduce her with the lure of parole. Although reluctant, Anna complied with everything Frank told her in the hope of getting out of that place soon. The next day, Anna told Jeannie about it, and Jeannie reminded her not to trust Frank easily. But soon after, Anna received her parole letter. I won't be so quick to trust Frank. After receiving it, Anna met Cody and asked for her help. She apparently intended to trap Frank by recording his immoral behavior with a camera that Cody had. After getting the camera, Anna meets Frank in his room who again invites Anna to have <laughs> Anna complied while recording. Shortly after, three officers arrived to review Anna's parole. As Jeannie said, at that time Frank demonized Anna and asked that Anna remain locked up in prison, but Anna stopped the conversation and showed the recording of Frank. The officers looked shocked and they immediately arrested Frank who couldn't escape. What the hell is this? It's obviously Officer, get her out of here! After that, the officers talked to Anna again, they promised to investigate the place and they agreed to Anna's parole. After saying goodbye to Jeannie, Anna finally left the prison and reunited with her mother. Soon after, Anna actually performed at the conservatory to play her cello, 